This, this is a topic that I'm actually kind of interested in recently because of Gigax Spring 2024 tier list, which was based on him watching anime at 2x speed. The title of this video is called Watching Anime on 3.5x Speed is what new anime fans do now. Let's see what Chibi has to say. Watching anime and watching TV in general feels to me like kind of a waste of time. And because I worship the yeah. people for productivity and the only thing I care about is productivity, everything in my life has to be productive. Like, you know. So. If you just want to be productive, right? Like, if you're not trying to, like, absorb the anime, truly get immersed, think about all the plot details and try to come up with theories and be really engaged like that. If your only goal is to just blitz through the anime, you don't care if you're missing shit, but you just want the most important things in terms of just productivity, then I, I, I guess that makes sense, right? It, it, again... It depends on what the user's goals are. If this guy is saying it's pure productivity, he doesn't got time to watch anime, I'm going to watch it in 3.5x speed. Even if he misses out on 90% of the content, right? He still has an idea, but it's like, at that point, why even watch the anime? Bro, just read the fucking synopsis and fuck off. I've been listening to audiobooks at 3.5x speed, and I sort of wished I could do the same for anime, and I've discovered this incredible new method for doing that. Yeah. A, a new extension? First off, if everything in your life needs to be productive and you feel yeah. like media and anime is like a waste of time, yeah, then maybe that form of media is just a waste of time for you. you. Exactly. Not everything needs to give you a dopamine hit every three to five seconds, which like it. I just don't understand the purpose of like trying to be productive and watching anime because let's get real. You're fucking wasting your time. Wasting your time is very subjective, right? Who determines what you did in life is fulfilling or a use of time? You could be playing video games and your parents are going to be, don't waste your fucking time, but then you could actually end up being like a streamer that plays video games and make more money than your parents have ever had, right? Productivity usually comes from like a sense of using time for an exchange for money. And therefore, if you're just like wasting your time playing video games or anime, you know, and you're not, you're not making money, then you're wasting your time. And <laughs> that's why I started doing anime reactions, by the way. Anyways, I just feel like... At a certain point, you need to really take a deep look at yourself and ask, like, if you need to be productive about watching anime, I, I, there's a separate problem altogether. Like, it's not about rushing the content as fast as you can. It's all about the journey. It's about watching the anime and, like, fully getting, like, everything out of it, right? If you actually care about the anime, you'll have a fun time watching one episode throughout, like, a course of one hour or something, or at least that's what I do. But if it's like you're trying to blitz through like three separate episodes in like an hour, then what are you really doing? Are you having fun? What is the point? Your point is to be productive. Productive to do what? To make better use of your time? But if it's like you're not actually enjoying the anime, are you making use of your time? I genuinely don't think anyone that watches anime in 2 or 3.5x speed can enjoy the anime or fully get immersed and have more enjoyment out of it compared to someone that actually takes their time to watch it fully immersed, fully engaged, thinking about what's going on. It's becoming increasingly common in today's society to where, like, you need to... Pretty much the Jingling Keys meme is becoming more and more real. As ADHD, time goes baby. On. Because it's like, there's so many times when I, like, I'm on my phone and I open up YouTube or something. Let's say I actually do watch a YouTube short. I know for a fact there's many of you that probably open up YouTube shorts. And you'll see, like, a video split in, down the middle, like, completely mm. cut in half. And you'll have... Like, a Subway surfers, right? Anytime. It's like a very... <laughs> Kids need something, right? On TikTok or YouTube Shorts, right? Fast form content. When there's there's a lot of content where it's just gonna be like some kind of a uh, podcast or someone discussing something, but then the other half of the screen will be just like subway surfers or like someone cutting like food, something to make you like watch and be distracted and be ADHD so that you don't just click off the video. It's a very common tactic. It's actually pretty smart in terms of trying to get the most engagement out of users because you know that people just have no fucking attention span. But this obviously kind of just adds into this whole. I don't know, this, this setting of behavior and trend of people not being able to focus and they're just, if there's not something else going on, you're just, you, you can't watch it. You, you just can't. Completely different thing going on, like maybe some ASMR chopping of vegetables or something while the actual topic is at the top. And the reason why things are created like this is to keep the dopamine hit yeah. for people watching, for kids to watch or they're keeping their attention on the screen. And it's just... And the dopamine hit, this is kind of a boomer take, but not really. A lot of the time you hear back in my day, back in the old golden age, you know, we didn't have the internet and we used to fucking, you know, hang out with people and in real person contact and nobody would be on their cell phones. And that does sound like a boomer take. But then think about this. 
technology advanced so much that the kids these days grow up on fucking iPads. The parents don't even fucking parents the kids. The kids are growing up watching iPad content and it's just constant dopamine rush, bro. Like, imagine when you're a kid, and again, most of you guys are probably born after 2000, so you probably have no fucking clue. But like, holy shit, it is actually mind boggling the difference in kids from like 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s and how they grew up with the access of technology, just having everything at your disposal. Like the amount of dopamine that a kid has is pr pr probably equivalent to like a fucking heroin high. Straight up. It is way too much. And once you expose a kid like that, their receptors are fucking fried. Uh, the biochemistry behind dopamine stuff, I don't completely understand, but I do know that there's a tolerance. And once you get enough dopamine hits, the same amount of dopamine is not enough. You need the next high. You need a new threshold, right? That's why there's this whole detoxing or reading your fucking receptors just chill the fuck out so that the threshold isn't so high so that you can be, you know, excited about content rather than just being like so burnt out and needing so much more stimulation. But in this new era of like technology and trying to get as many users, you know, engaged and retained on the platform as possible, like TikTok and YouTube shorts, right? It's just unfortunately the byproduct of just capitalism at the end of the day, right? Just, it's so crazy. We've come to a point in society to where we try to speed run everything. Everything yeah. needs to be done as quickly as possible. And this doesn't just necessarily stem into like the end. But it's like, why? Once you speed through it, you know what you're going to do? You're going to feel fucking empty. Then you're going to chase the next fucking high. It's like, what is the purpose of trying to finish something as fast as possible rather than taking your time to fucking enjoy it? I got a beautiful, beautiful steak dinner in front of me. And a dog will simply just inhale the food. A dog doesn't understand. A dog can't comprehend taking their time to enjoy the food and have the full experience. They'll just fucking gulp that fucking plate and look for more. But the difference between you and a dog is that you have some intelligence, right? You have the ability to be like, you know what? I feel like I could get more out of this if I just didn't think of this as a fucking endpoint I need to get through, but rather enjoying the fucking marathon anime and manga community this stems into all forms of entertainment this is one of the big reasons why i think like the mcu's having problems stuff with like star wars i know there's a lot more problems than that i think the mcu and star wars shit is just disney just fucking up right and like marvel just coming running out of content and after avengers endgame with thanos and shit it's just turned into just haha <laughs> millennial joke haha <laughs> it's just the same copy paste formula and everyone got bored of it right that, but uh, all the different stuff that goes on with our entertainment industry i feel like is just legitimately the result of just straight up brain rot of people yeah. needing this dopamine kick every always single always second. Yep. and if they do not get that dopamine kick their attention wanders off and they no longer will watch the show mm -hmm. read the show etc and honestly as someone that was actually diagnosed with adhd when i was eight and had to take riddle I don't oh Ritalin. I don't think I was ever diagnosed with ADHD, but I definitely am brain rotted too. Like my ADHD is fucking off the charts. When I was a kid, just to calm myself down, I don't even need to have the fast forward button. I, for the most part, I, I don't need nothing like this. It's just crazy that even with me with problems that obviously would have problems with focusing, etc., and I don't even take Ritalin or anything anymore, FYI. I can focus and keep my attention span on things. Obviously, I proved that alone. And it Before I started streaming, before I started making content around anime reactions, I actually had a hard time finishing an episode by myself. I'd be like watching it, and like seven, eight minutes in, I'd like pause and do something else, and I'd get distracted, and I'd, I'd, I'd lose focus. But now, obviously, I gotta be locked in, so it, this is helping me with like be more focused. But I do understand not being able to sometimes just... You know, it's, it's a little bit boring and it's just like nothing's going on and you might just get distracted. But like, do you really need a 2x for that, though? It's just it's crazy to me. We come to a point in society to where we need to find ways to fast forward through content as quick as possible. And, you know, yeah. I believe this is completely true. There's a lot more people than we believe because like I have a friend that is basically kind of he, he, he's not necessarily like a complete TikTok generation guy, but he is someone that is like in his early 20s. And okay. he was he's someone that when he watches a video, because I've seen it when like, you know, he's on Discord with me and we like, you know, play games or watch YouTube videos or whatever together. He will straight up fast forward a walking scene. Like, let, let's say there is like a scene like an anime. OK, hmm, like, you know, days of my stepsister, like. If we fast forward to the scenes where they just walk or like take their time, you know, the, the, the filler animation, like I, I could 
Maybe you understand that? Uh, uh, I don't know. And you have two characters that are walking to their destination. It's yeah. like they're in the living room and they're going to walk into the kitchen, okay? He will fast forward like four or five seconds just to get through <laughs> the walking scene of a character going into the room. He, 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 he skips through that. He thinks it's a waste of time. Um, well, uh... The walking scene... Yeah, I if you if you're really strapped for time, like I could understand, like that's not the worst thing possible, right? It's a fucking walking scene. Nothing is going on. It's just sending the ambience. But then, if you did that shit while watching Frieden or like Days of My Stepsister, you essentially just skipping the entire anime. Basically, what this individual right here is doing is the equivalent to like what my friend does, and yeah. this is definitely more common than we realize. And it's just like these I, are the type I, of people that straight up, I didn't know. I didn't know people watch shit in 2x speed. I genuinely didn't know. Now, I... For example, if there is like a video that I want to watch to react to, but the video is like fucking from like Otaku Spirit. Makes great Mushoku Tensei content. Motherfucker's videos are 50 minutes long. I, I cannot react to a 50 minute video. That's just gonna be like a 2 hour, 3 hour video. But then I understand the logic of, alright, let's do 1.5x speed or 2x speed here to make the reaction content so that it's like a more, you know, a digestible format for me. That I understand, right? That is, but, but, but that is different from watching anime 2x speed. And when I, I didn't even know until recently that Giguk, Giguk fucking actually watches shit in 2x speed unironically because his job is to cover every seasonal anime possible and give his idea or rating around it, which I think is fucking stupid sometimes because he doesn't even finish the animes, but gives us some information of like, this is the episode that I stopped on and this is the rating I'm giving. Like... It, that is, again, productivity, and, like, I could kind of understand, right? Like, yeah, but, but like, he's doing it for the bag, like, he's, this is his actual job, he's got other stuff going on in his life, like, maybe I could understand that, but, like, vast majority of you guys are not doing this shit as a job, you know? You're watching this for entertainment, so why would you, like, 2x and butcher the experience for the sake of, like, productivity? Like, why are you so busy? What are you doing? Why, wait, where do you have to go? Like, you have, you have like 200 anime animes to fucking watch? Like, why not just enjoy your time, take your time to thoroughly enjoy it, and then move on? Again, the example of a dog fucking inhaling steak off of a plate, but a human being should at least have the intelligence to realize that, hey, let's fucking pace ourselves and enjoy every bite we can get, right? That are coming into anime, coming into entertainment, or whatever, and wanting the media to change for them, to be quick and always dopamine hit, when it shouldn't be like that. It needs to be slow and subtle and really have proper buildup. And it's really refreshing. We have something like, let's say, Free Ren that came out very recently. <laughs> yeah. That, you know, obviously. Again, if you just skipped all the walking scenes in Freedom, you'd be skipping half the fucking show. <laughs> He makes us realize you should cherish your time a lot more. You know, this is definitely, uh, I think, a series that most of these individuals right here should take some time out of your day to yeah. actually watch. But probably they'll click the fast forward button. You watch in 0.5x? Listen, you're, you, you're watching Roshidere in 0.5x speed, not for the reason of taking in all the plot, but for the other fan service reasons. But uh, anyways, let's continue this content real quick before yeah. I go any further, before I really rip this apart even more than I already just oh, did. Oh boy. Let's, just, let's see what this individual has to say. My life has to be productive, like, you know, listening to audiobooks at 3.5x speed. And I sort of wish Maybe I could do, do the same for, for anime. And I've discovered this incredible new method for doing let's that. Let's see it. This the is extension? not that revolutionary. Maybe you know of it before, but it's basically based on a Chrome extension called mm. Video Speed FYI, Controller. I downloaded And this is I downloaded absolutely it. changed the game. So now this is how I We're watch We're going to test it out just so to see how unwatchable like it is. All right. I can't wait to see how unwatchable this is. But actually, aside from this is actually interesting. Um, and, 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 and this is a separate conversation, but with this extension, if there's any anime reaction channels that doesn't want to edit their content and just want to put the full reaction out there, obviously you have content ID flagging your audio and visuals. But with this extension, because it's 2x or 3x speed, I think the content ID would be, it, uh, it, it wouldn't be able to detect it. The visuals will be moving at a speed faster than, in, and the audio than what it's expecting. So like, this extension is actually a way of just uploading entire visuals and audios of the full episode reaction, but obviously it's going to be 2x speed to avoid copyright. I just, random idea I had, but anyways. For example, so there's no spoilers in this. It always starts with like an opening sequence. So obviously I'll kind of skip the opening sequence. I'll fast forward to like two minutes. The crazy then... part is... Always skips the opening. I... 
I don't think that's that. It's not a cardinal sin. I I enjoy watching the opening. It's just like a little bit of a tradition, you know. Just always I I skip the endings, right? Usually, but like the openings, it's not a big deal. This man like a full screen, and then what you can do with video well, speed controller the extension Hunter. is you can use hotkeys to like speed literally, up the video. Okay, I, I gotta pause. I can't hear Hunter you. Hunter Hunter is literally a story. Literally at the end, the final episode of the anime of Hunter Hunter 2011. Where should I fucking listen to this? We're never gonna fucking watch Hunter X and Destiny. I don't know who gives a fuck. Gon's father actually says to cherish your time and to enjoy the little things or the journey. I don't think that's really a spoiler. Yeah. Th again, that's the whole thing. Like, the purpose of watching anime isn't to fucking finish it as fast as possible. The purpose of anime is for you to enjoy the entire ride. And in order to enjoy the most out of anime, you need to get immersed. I genuinely can say that, like, before when I wasn't doing anime reactions, where I would just sit back and just pass this shit, it's kind of like half checked out, checking my phone and doing other shit. I can't thoroughly enjoy it. It feels like the experience is just cheap because like I've obviously given the half-assed effort. But now that like I'm obviously doing this as a fucking a living and I'm like truly locked in and so immersed and trying to theorize everything going on, it becomes a much more profound experience. I'm getting way more out of watching anime now, aside from the fucking money factor. I'm just talking pure entertainment value compared to when I just watch it passively. But again, like, if this guy's goal isn't to enjoy the anime, but to be just as productive as possible, because he has only like an hour a day to watch anime, and he wants to watch the most amount of anime possible, I guess for his goals it makes sense. But I truly don't think that he would enjoy, like the experience he's having right now, I don't think is going to be better compared to a situation where he didn't use the extension. But then again, who am I to like judge what other people's enjoyments are? Entertainment is subjective at the end of the day. Maybe this guy genuinely is way more enthusiastic about the anime because it's 2x speed. That's something that I could never prove. No one can really prove. It's all anecdotal, right? Etc. of how you got there. And the fact that this individual is having to fast forward Hunter Hunter of all series is so ironic. It's not even funny anymore. It's just, it's just. <sighs> okay, let's just continue. Next the video down or reset it. And so normally what I do is I'll just speed, 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 speed up until it gets to an interesting point. And I'll speed it as fast as I can so I can still keep up with it. Look how fast he's going. That's crazy. 3.5, bro. Listen to that. Listen to how gibberish that That's is. That's crazy. Wait, wait, up. Listen to the gibberish. <laughs> That's another thing. Like, when you're at, like, beyond 2x speed, you don't even fucking... Like, I, I think a huge component... I think genuinely a huge component of anime, right, is voice acting and soundtrack. Voice acting and soundtrack... It just changes an anime. That's why people know so many famous seiyus or voice actors. That's why so many people know famous, like, you know, soundtrack composers, like Hiroki Sauna, for example, right? Soundtracks, music and voice acting, it truly makes it a different experience in the manga. That's why it's called an animation. It's anime. But when you fucking use this extension and you go past that, everything is gibberish. And I guess at this point, why the fuck are you reading the anime? Watching the anime? You're just reading it. Just read the manga, right? Manga? You can read at your Blitzkrieg pace if you want. Straight up, like, why are you watching anime? Like, this guy just needs to fucking read the manga. You can go at your own pace. Voice acting and soundtrack is absent. It's a totally separate medium. Read the fucking manga. What are you doing? Listen, gibberish. And so what I'm pressing is I'm pressing D to speed up the video by 0 0.2 times. So did this guy genuinely post this tweet as like not a rage bait? Like, I want to really understand like, you know, on, on Twitter, if you want to get a lot of likes, if you want to get a lot of engagement on Twitter, you don't say the popular opinion. You say something that people will get mad about. That's just social media in a nutshell. Is he just rage baiting? I can't tell. Each time, and we're suppressing D D D D D quite a lot. First off, you can't even appreciate the voice acting. Exactly, just like, read the manga. You can't even appreciate the the music, to the you just the background sounds 
to just like the voice acting at all with speeding something up to this extent. There's so many voice actors that commit so much love, blood, sweat, and tears into their work just to have it skipped by someone that needs a dopamine hit every yeah. few seconds. It's just, it's wild to me to see just the work of beautiful voices just tarnished to such a degree. It, it's honestly just devastating. And I'm pressing S to slow it down when it gets to an interesting point. And then if it gets to like a really interesting point and then I need to reset it, I just press the R button. So at the moment, this is really fast. And then I press R. And then it goes back to normal. And that's like wow. really cool. So now- Yeah, that's like really cool. And he's so happy about it. He's so happy. He's so proud of this too. Like he, he's genuinely like, wow, look at this miracle tool, guys. You don't have to watch anime anymore. You can just read it. Fuck it. Just read the manga then. When I've been eating dinner and stuff, this is how I've been watching Hunter x Hunter. And then I can like fully focus on it. And it just goes so fast I'm so when it gets to when it's like kind of. We need to bring public executions back. We need to bring the Coliseum back, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But like. Again, again, as much as I've given the different, you know, talking points of why skipping forward is so bad in anime, like the visuals, the fucking soundtrack, the voice acting, all of this shit is a totally different experience. And when you skip this fast, you can't even enjoy any of that. So fuck it. Why are you even watching anime? Just watch this, read the manga at this point. But if he like genuinely is happy and if he is, and he seems very genuinely happy, right? If he is truly finding enjoyment out of this compared to 1x speed then i guess it is what it is let him do his thing right it's just blows my mind that like <laughs> it just blows my mind that we're at this state bro where you're just skipping over like why are you watching the anime just read the fucking manga you had all these different extensions you have all these different things you're doing everything so that you don't have to watch the anime. Just don't watch the anime. Just read the synopsis of the anime and just fuck off. Just what? Just this is such a waste of time for everybody. It's building so character building kind of stuff, man, and so I don't need to watch it at normal speed. And then when it gets to like a really cool fight sequence, or if they're explaining something like, you know, about how the different auras work or anything like that, then I can just press the R button, to reset it to normal speed, and then I can kind of revamp it. So it sure. sort of feels genuinely. You know what? Yeah, exactly. Why only watch one episode at a time? You should have like three separate monitors showing three separate fucking episodes, all fucking 3x speed. Are you even trying? Bro, are you even trying to be productive? You're fucking wasting your time watching one anime at a time? You're fucking stupid. Open up 10 tabs. Have 10 separate fucking mini screens per monitor. Three separate monitors. If you can't even do that, are you a human? No. Like, what are you doing? You're wasting your time. Thank you for the 100 bits. But how can you tell who's talking? There's no way they can pull the voices apart. Well, did you not listen to the other people defending this shit in chat? At a certain point, humans are adaptable, man. The brain is magic. If you just train your brain to get all these feedback, you can decipher who's talking at every point, bro. You just don't understand the wonders of human physiology. Like you're playing a video game almost and that you're sort of like tweaking the controls here and there and... It's just like a more, for video games more well. engaging, more interesting just way of even, watching don't, don't, stuff. Don't even, don't even get into the media. If you're having to fast forward through everything, just don't. It, maybe entertainment is just not for you. It's not. It, it, it. And like, it's different, I think. I think this is all about like, well, it's an assumption based off of this guy being fucking, you know, dopamine, uh, just doped out of his mind that he needs more, 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 right? So this is the assumption that we're going based off of. Like, at that point, entertainment is a totally different subjective thing to him. Because, like, what we find entertaining is no longer entertaining to him. His dopamine receptors are fucking fried. We need more, 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 more stimulation. And at that point, what he's doing is going to make him happier than what we're doing. Like, it's, it's, it's at that point, straight up, it's just biochemistry at that point. It's not for you whatsoever. Because it's like, the point of entertainment is to immerse yourself into the world. To No. The point of entertainment to these people is to be as productive as possible, to spend the least amount of time, to fast, just, just rush everything, miss 95% of the things that finds entertainment because that is what entertainment is to them. Productivity. Just fast, go, go, go. 
you dive into that world and forget about all external things around you and focus on the content within front of you. When I open up a book, when I grab a manga and I open up its pages and I read the story of a manga, I don't want to think about anything else around me. I just, I want to think about Emerging. the story. Read the story. Read now nah, you're doing that wrong, Chibi. When you open up a manga, you already fucked up. What you should have done was Google. No, nah, fuck it. Just paste in the chat, GPT. Give me a give me a paragraph summary on this manga. You read that and you're done. You're done with the manga. Move on to the next. What are you doing? You're wasting your time. Read the pages. Maybe put on some music in the background to just have some chill environment, and that's it. And to have someone just go out of their way to fast forward through everything, it's just like, mm. I think you're missing the point. Obviously, there's many different ways to enjoy stuff. It's kind of like, you know, when you play a game, you have different builds, etc. When you're playing a game, like Elden Ring is a good example. I understand there's different ways to play. Or Yeah, and like, in the Elden Ring example, some people love to just explore everything. Without, under, without doing any research online, without Googling any build, they just want to live in that world and figure out everything. Go to every different dungeon, figure out different types of builds by themselves, check out different weapons, right? And then there's people that are like, I'm trying to min-max this shit. So I read up every fucking popular god, I run how to speed run the game to get the best optimal build, and I'm just going to rush every boss. And to some people, that's more enjoyable than the other people that, you know, takes it the slow way. So... At the end of the day, entertainment really, really is subjective, but I just feel like this is still a cardinal sin, bro. Stuff, but it's like, when you get to a certain point to where you're trying to speed run it as quick as possible, are you really even enjoying the content, or are you just, like, wanting to get through it because you're looking at it as a work task? Because it's a work task! This it is! like, perspective. He literally starts the video off that he wants to be productive. productivity. He feels like TV shows, anime, etc. is a waste of time. Everything's productive. He worships productivity. And obviously, this statement is not a one size fits all because there's probably a lot of people out there that doesn't agree with this, but they will fast forward through things. And the reason for that is because obviously things feel too slow, and they to be complete blunt, they need a they need a dopamine hit. They, they need it. And this is true. In, in this case, this fast forwarding is basically people that are just craving addiction to dopamine. They constantly mm -hmm. need it. That they. They need to fast forward to get to the good stuff. It, it, it's kind of like people that speed run, like, uh, just movies. I'll wait for all to release and then 2x and 1x the good moments. See, you're a lot, here's your logic of thinking. Someone in chat is literally saying, look, I 2x every boring part, all the buildup and setup, so that I can rush to the part where it's supposed to pop off and then I can get that release. But it's like, that's a ruined orgasm. Straight up, you are not really like building it up. You're not building shit. You 2x'd everything. You 2x'd all the setup and all the build up. You don't even know how it should feel to pop off. You don't even understand what it took to get there. Then you're talking about how you can enjoy the pop off moment? You're actively doing yourself a disservice. <laughs> exactly, there's no foreplay. <laughs> Exactly. You skipped all the four boy and you're trying to nut, but it's like there was no purpose. You just skipped to the nut and now you're like, well, I don't even know what the point of all the build up was, and now I'm enjoying the pop off scene and I think I'm having a good time and relative to the previous content, it seems more exciting, but I don't even I I just feel like that is the wrong way to go at it, bro. You skipped all the necessary bits to fully enjoy the pop off moments. And, and then you get there, and you think that it's good, but it's a fucking chase. You feel empty, and you 2x everything else, and you try to go to pop-up mode, but it feels empty, and it's just a fucking cycle. A cycle of you trying to chase that next high, but that high can never deliver, because you skipped everything that was necessary to get there, man. Movies, etc. You know, like... They fast forward through everything just to get to a fight. And that's basically what this individual just did. He basically exposed himself that he is someone that will pretty much skip through everything just mm. to get to the fancy explosive content of fights, etc. And it's just like, this is, this is the new generation, everyone. This is the new generation. I don't think this guy is a new generation. If you look at him, <laughs> I don't think he's a Zoomer, bro. Like... No disrespect, this guy's probably in his 30s. Anime fans. I'm not saying all of the new generation, but a good chunk <laughs> definitely is kind of similar to this, where they need to speed through content. And, I mean, th to really just showcase how common this probably is, YouTube literally has a function mm. to 
fast forward videos. Yeah. Uh, I, I know there's people that put videos on like 1.5 times speed, 2 times speed, etc. Sometimes it's warranted. Some motherfuckers talk way too slow. Like, my cadence is probably too fast. I'm already probably at 2x speed. But like, some people just talk way too goddamn slow. And sometimes 1.5x speed is nice. That is a thing. People do that. And by the way, to give a little bit more context to this individual right here, so from what I can find out, this actual clip here, this two minute clip, is from a video from a few years ago, and the earliest I could track down of it is from four years ago. To be honest, in the Newgate anime, I skipped some parts because it wasn't that interesting to me. But if it was an anime I care about, I would never. Danny, you get a pass, because Newgate was so incredibly fucking mid. Go on r slash productivity, as you can see right here. And basically they outline that like, you know, what do they think about his latest video? And if yeah. you click on the video, it's literally a private video. And uh -oh. it goes to this YouTube channel if you look a little bit deeper. Ali Abdal. This is a guy. Damn, 5.67 mil subs. Check out my New York Times best-selling book. Feel good productivity. This dude is cracked. If you look at his content, it looks like he's more. <laughs> Detoxture, this is so funny. This video right over here, can you see it? It straight up says, detox your brain. You're destroying your mind. How to control dopamine. What? What? You are literally the person that needs to watch this video, but you created the video. Whatever. Looks Whatever. like he's more or less a financial slash productivity YouTuber, Whatever. which kind of explains a lot about the uh, the brain rot when it comes to just uh, this clip alone. But um, anyways, with that being said, I downloaded this yeah. app that he showcased. And okay. So let's do a crime against humanity. No, please, not a, not a good anime. What are you gonna? F no. You know what he should do? <laughs> he should check Tensor right now. Read Cards of Slime meeting episodes. Meeting episodes in 3.5 x speed. Let's do free run. No! Uh, let, let's, just, let's look at how bad right, this fine. is, okay? All so right. I downloaded this already, etc. Let's just, let's see really how bad let's do it. this is. So let's, uh, let's set this at 3.5 times like he did. Let's just do Just to it. see truly how watchable the show is. So I'm not going to do a lot of... If you can talk, react 1.5x faster and play an anime at that speed, you can edit at 0.75x speed and dish out more episodes on YouTube. I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Are you saying intentionally pad the watch time? By playing the anime slower? What are, you, what are you saying? Because like, at the goal of YouTube at the end of the day is to make people watch the video for as long as possible. The longer, the better the video. Trying to speed shit up for the sake of productivity <clears throat> to pump out more episodes on YouTube is very counterproductive. It's better if it's longer. Like, do you understand? Do you, do you, do you, I don't think a lot of people don't understand. Right? I, I, I don't think people understand, like, a lot of people, like, complain, or a lot, lot of people are, like, make, like, double episodes because they don't pause and shit, and I pause a lot. Like, I get way more out of the episode, not in terms of enjoyment, personal enjoyment for myself and engagement, but, like, on YouTube as well. My single one, one episode reactions are, like, 30, 40 minutes long, and they get edited, it's, like, 20, 30 minutes long. Compared to some other people that just watch it straight through, and it's, like, a 10-minute video. It already is just got by default just gonna perform better because like people just watch it for a long time. So like I don't have to like the goal isn't to speed through anime episodes. No. It's about just taking your time and just give the episodes the the the, the time and the effort that it deserves. I much prefer just like I'd much prefer putting like 40 minute reactions per episode rather than trying to fucking watch it as fast as I can to get to the next episode. Nah, that's that's not my brand. No way content because i don't want to get copyrighted etc but let's just let's listen to the voices let's see let's, if we can even right. understand the voice acting because it's gonna be like of this fast forward nature of this let's hear it <laughs> what you couldn't understand that skill issue make it faster not only should you make it faster, you should have three separate enemies going at the same time. Productivity, GB, what are you doing? Time is running out. If you needed any proof just how brain rotted people are, I think this really is it. Sadly, I care about his this app extension mm. does not work on Twitter. So what I'm going to do to wrap speed up this, this guy? video. <laughs> you want to speed this guy up? I'm just going to speed run this man's video at 3.5 times speed. <laughs> And then that'll be the end of the video. So, y'all be safe, stay healthy. Cheat Thanks, TV. <laughs>
I will now stack a 2x multiplier on this. Behold, the power of 5.4. That's the video. And at the end of the day, all right, give, give Chibi a like on this video. I actually enjoy this topic a lot. Go, go give Chibi a like on this video. If you, if you haven't sub, go sub to his channel. I, I, it's a it's a multiplier. Sorry, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a multiplier. So, um, I think that um, again, entertainment, the use of your time, people, whatever they find fun, is very subjective. I am not a person that should be telling you how to live your life. I just say this is what I do, and I think that it works out for me. And if you truly get enjoyment off of doing two x speed on animes that you don't really care about, just to get to the hype shit, to watch some other animes that you do care about. Maybe that works for you, but like, I just feel like no matter what, you, you can never truly get everything that the anime is trying to show you, especially because of the medium. It's an animation. It's not just about understanding the plot. You can just read the manga if you want to do that. The whole point of an animation is the visuals, the voice acting, the soundtrack, and these things get butchered the moments that you start doing like fucking 3.5x speed. It's so unreasonable. And if your goal is to just watch as many animes as possible to get to some destination that doesn't exist, I think you're doing this all wrong. At the end of the day, you should be enjoying the journey. How many times have you finished an anime? How many times have you finished a show that you really love? And you feel this emptiness in your heart. You feel this void. So you search on YouTube, you search on Google, anime is just like this one. And you may find a replacement, but it's never gonna be that first time love, right? So just think about that and realize you should try to release the savor and get as much as you want out of the content that you enjoy rather than trying to get to the destination. Because at the end of the day, the goal isn't the destination. The goal is the journey and to enjoy that ride as long as you can.